Hey, it's the Select Guy back again with the Marvel Select Apocalypse action figure. We've seen some great Apocalypse action figures over the years, from the old Toy Biz Bath version to more modern interpretations from Hasbro Marvel Legends and the animated look from the Legends Retro line. The Select One captures the Capcom vs Marvel video game aesthetic that many people feel nostalgic about, but with added realistic sculpted details and metallic paint application. From top to bottom, it's packed with amazing sculpted details and a crisp paint job. Initially, it comes with a head sculpt that honestly, I don't dislike. I appreciate how it tucks the chin into the neck piece and the facial expression looks really intense. However, stepping back a bit, the head does seem a bit too large for the overall proportion. Conveniently, the Marvel Legends Retro Apocalypse figure came with a head that fits perfectly on this select figure. Personally, I think this head sculpt suits the select figure better because it has a more realistic look, which contrasts with its somewhat dull, plasticky body. The Legends head also includes an angry expression, which complements this select body nicely. With the Legends head, Apocalypse can look up quite well, down quite well. With its original head, movement is somewhat restricted. The head can tilt to the side reasonably well. The diaphragm can move back about this much, but not too well to the front. And there's a little bit of side-to-side -side movement. The arms can rotate all the way around, although the shoulder pads can get in the way. He has bicep swivels and single jointed elbows. The hands can swivel and hinge up and down, but the wrist joints are quite tight. The legs can kick up pretty well and to the side quite far. He has thigh swivels, single jointed knees, ankle swivels and feet that hinge up and down and rock side to side quite well. As always, there's a trick to make this Marvel Select action figure even more awesome. There's something going on in the arm to torso area, so I'll warm it up first and show you what's going on inside. If you look at the socket inside, there are three holes for some reason. Initially, the arms are plugged into the middle one, but the arms weren't naturally flushed down and the shoulders sink in too deep. If you plug the arms back into the hole at the back, it gives a much more natural look and the shoulders stick out more, which gives him much better proportion. In terms of accessories, he doesn't come with tons, but what he does have are really important and awesome. He comes with interchangeable forearms and different weapons. Apart from the drill that recreates his moves from the Capcom game, there's also a clasp that can hold up other figures and the normal arms for open and fist hands, as well as the mace. Overall, I think this is one of the most well-made action figures for the character, and you can see how much love Diamond Select put into this product. The great thing about Apocalypse is that his large size doesn't matter, so you can definitely display him with the Legends X-Men figures, and I've even seen him displayed with the three and three quarter inch Marvel Universe figures. So don't hesitate to add him to your six inch display and enjoy this awesome action figure Thank you very much for watching. If you liked it, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Peace.